yes, I'm still covering recording contract details that you should avoid, okay? This is week three of four. There's only one more, I promise. So let's dive in. Before I dive in, let's do something that isn't a hidden thing, which is what I'll talk about today. Let's talk about hitting that subscribe button, because next time you'll get notified when I post a video. Do it now. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this is week three of covering some of the more major points that you should look for if you do still choose to go the traditional route and sign a record label. Of course, I am a huge supporter that staying independent is going to be the biggest value add for you to do when pursuing music as a career. And I know some people are still gonna look at the traditional record label and be like, that's still the route I wanna go. But trust me, building a fan community, going independent, that is always gonna get you the biggest rewards, reap the biggest benefits, and produce the biggest revenue over the long term. That being said, today's red flag on a record label contract are hidden royalty deductions. So last week I covered standard royalty rates that you might expect to find in a record label contract. But even if your rates are fair, standard, and reasonable, you still need to look out for hidden deductions. In fact, before even paying you one cent in royalties, the record label is typically allowed to recoup much of its expenses through so-called deductions. Now, standard deductions may include things like recording costs, video production costs, marketing costs, the cost of creating CD and DVD packaging, if that's still a thing, you know, vinyl in this case, I know cassettes are maybe kind of coming back, so those might still be a thing. But, you know, anything like that and a similar costs related to your career, these can be considered standard deductions. But remember, these deductions that are hidden, not so standard, although a label might consider them standard, are extras, things that you're like, these are free perks. Nothing is free under a record label contract. You could be getting catered. You could be getting any kind of perks or special gifts or, you know, any kind of extra bonuses thing, things that you're like, this is great. They must really like me. They must be catering to me. Now, eventually you will have to pay all that back. So remember the free stuff will eventually hit you. So if you feel like anything is off and the contract deductions don't seem like they're standard or you're like, what is this? Or they're vaguely defined, walk away. If you have any concerns, you're not required to sign anything. You don't have to say yes. And if you do say yes before reading a contract in its entirety, you may find yourself waiting a very long time, if ever, before you start to see any kind of royalty income from the label. So please protect yourself. If you are considering record label, I hope this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button. It makes it helps me with this channel. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm happy to respond to any questions you might have. Uh, again, hit subscribe if you'd like to be notified of the next video because there is one more in this series, plus plenty more after that where that came from. So I look forward to seeing you next time and take care.